Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. I did not kill the rotten seven times. I'm not that much of a cheese. I just killed him twice. Just because I wanted to make sure I had the stats, I need to kill the ancient dragon because that boss is insane and I have never actually forced myself to kill him. Because with King Vendrick, is he counts as a boss fight too. We saw his shambling, hollowed corpse just roaming around. But his defense is doubled for every soul of a giant that you don't have. So there's five total. So we want to get as many of them as possible. I usually end up fighting him with only four of them. So he has double defense. Which basically just means I do half the damage to his body that I should. Are you sure? But, since I'm trying to kill all the vanilla bosses like I did with Dark Souls 1, I have to kill him and I have to kill the Ancient Dragon anyway. So all that's left here is Vendrick, Ancient Dragon, Dark Lurker, the finale. So I'm going to try to get all that done in this one episode. I'm not entirely sure how feasible that's going to be, but that's what I'm going to go for. I don't have any more Twinkling Titan, I do I? I do, just one piece. <gasps> the one piece is real! Okay, so for the Ancient Dragon, we're going to want as much fire defense as we can get. So I'm pretty sure the Smelter Demon armor is what we're going to want to go for. Because this chest piece has 100 fire defense. Helmet has only 34. But nothing else has higher than that. I would assume the gauntlets are the same. 39. Yeah. And lastly, leggings at 43. Yeah, this is the highest fire defense I'm getting. Now, he's pretty much guaranteed to one-shot us anyway, no matter what our health situation is with his fire blast, so... Not entirely sure that we're going to be okay here. But we'll do our darndest. I just forget that those are technically counted as two separate areas. So first, before we fight anyone, there's an area I want to get to that I did not before. I'm ignoring you, because your mace attacks are messed up in the vanilla version. You have like no cooldown. Oh. I don't know why, I thought this was one of the guys that wouldn't respawn. This isn't what I came here for, but... Trick Keeper, not that great, actually. I believe to get to where I want to go... Yeah, I come over here... And drop down... Huh, I wonder if one of these is a Mimic. They're not coming down. Yeah, so this is how you can tell if a wooden chest is a mimic. This one's plain. It has a lock on it. So that's a mimic. Same with the iron chests. It's just the lock looks different on an iron. 
back up so it doesn't get me with this grab. You suck. Jesus Christ, do you think I can open the door before he attacks me? Yes, I can. What about this item? I can grab that too. God, why does that stun me for so long? This is where I want to be. Third dragon ring, let me equip that real quick. version of the second dragon ring, which is a better version of the first dragon ring. Honestly, I would have expected them to be reversed, with the first being the best, but it is what it is. You good? You good, sir? I don't remember what this does. Petrified egg. I know it's for something. in here just a pretty mid shield nope none on this side nope okay yeah it's just for a covenant I figured it was something like that I thought it might be something a little bit more but no it's, it's just a covenant thing so junk and a magic spell okay um no point walking back when I can teleport back I need to make sure I have full flasks and full health for this fight I'm about to do kind of worried about how this is going to go, because I've never actually successfully killed this guy before. He could absolutely destroy me, or the worrying could be all for naught, and he could be like the worst fight we've had to do so far. Imagine the disappointment if he's super easy after how long I've hyped him up. Why is the door back closed? It's okay, we have 99 life gems. This is why I bought 99 before, so I'd have them for this fight and why I've avoided using them so far.
Leave me alone. Really? I just got hit with a cheap shot from that guy while I was dodging the other two. That's fine. Because he won't enter the dragon room. Loser. Alright, ancient dragon. You see how your toes like my sword. Oh, I've done no damage to him. Didn't know that was an attack you could do. Alright, that attack. Run as far away as possible, unless your character decides not to enable the run until like 10 seconds after you're holding the run button. I might have to skip this boss if I'm doing that little damage to him. Doesn't help that the run up to him is pretty terrible. Alright, what if I do something crazy and I try to hit him with some poison right off the bat? Is he immune to poison? Or can I just straight up poison him right at the start and have a very easy time? What the? Since when can you shoot magic out of your sword? Open! Open! Consume! I think the thing with when he does the fire attack is that you're supposed to run towards his tail anyway. So I think I was running in the wrong direction. I was running away from his entire existence. This isn't nice enough to put my souls on the outside of the boss room. Why aren't you running? Nope, it still touched my tank. <laughs> okay, executive decision. I ain't doing that shit. I gotta stick to what's actually feasible. And that, apparently, sir, is not it. King Vendrick, on the other hand, since I have four giant souls, should still be pretty okay. Oh, you know, I should probably be healing for this. Yeah, ring that bell. I dare you. Aggro you two. Circle the pillars. 
Ooh, 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 I'm a ninja. Ooh, you can't catch me. I don't think they're allowed to enter Vendrick's little area. Can I poison you right off the bat? I'm doing so little damage to you that I'm not aggroing you, but I'm trying to just poison you. Ow, oh, that was a pretty bad dodge. Alright, he might be immune to poison. I'm not entirely sure, but... I feel like all those hits should have done something if he was going to be hit by poison. Now Vendrick also has insane health. That's because he still has double his normal defense. But he's also extremely easy to dodge, unlike the ancient dragon. If he does hit you, though, it does do a ton of damage. But honestly, I'm okay with Vendrick being so easy. Ow. He hit me out of my roll because I rolled straight, and then the second time I rolled sideways, but it went into his legs, so it blocked me from going sideways. Man was just like, Who oh, you call it easy? You, Vendrick, calling you easy because you are. And then we just not biff that up again. Because I got more than enough defense to take more than one hit from him. Oh, you're kidding me. It puts the fog all the way up here. It doesn't put it after Veldstadt's room. Oh no, it does put it after Velocity's room. It looked like it was right there. Never mind. That was just a weird visual before. Ignore my wrongdoings. Now, I'm gonna try her poison one more time. I think he is definitely a into poison.
Not immune to bleed, though. Command Mr. King, defend your kingdom. I'm about to take your throne. I appreciate that they didn't just copy what they did in Dark Souls 1 and make the king the final boss again. they make one of the items that makes this guy easier to fight come out of a boss that's harder than he is that is something I'll never understand ancient dragon is a dumb fight I don't think they thought it all the way through honestly God. Oh, you're kidding me. The stupid... Ugh. It's because I held B for a second too long, so it did the, like, three-point turnaround, which delays your ability to roll. So I got hit, and then I dodged it, and then he's never done a third swing there before. <laughs> Oof. Alright, while I'm here, I want to see if he can be affected by poison. Immune only to poison, okay. <laughs> Just my luck. Ooh, where am I gonna go? Whoa, you ain't gonna catch me. Oh my god. I'm too pro. Ow. Delete this hits. Let's say go. Okay, not even gonna try to poison this time. That actually does some damage. Oh, I forgot that swings wherever I'm pointing, not where I'm targeting. Imagine if this was leveled up. Whoa! Why did that hit me? 
Why did that one hit me? That one shouldn't have hit. Definitely have to cut all that because that took a million years to get set up. But we got a whole new weapon set. And this should hopefully be a little bit better. I also reallocated my stats a little bit to make the scaling with these work a little bit better. So as you can see, I have more health, a little bit less stamina. But that's fine. Two-handing these is nowhere near as good as I thought it would be. Or power stance, you know. Two-handing is working better than one-handing is. I remember these weapons being a little bit better. You bastard. Yeah, why is that not doing a whole lot? What if I use this? That'd be pretty funny. And that does a ton of damage. Does dexterity just kind of stink in this game? I'm starting to think dexterity just kind of stinks in Dark Souls 2. I mean, it sucked in, in the first game. It was great in Elden Ring, though. Dexterity just sucks in this game. It's especially compared to strength. Because you'd expect it to be weaker but faster and use less dexterity. But those were using my entire. Or not use it, less dexterity, use less stamina. But those were using my entire stamina bar and doing like no damage. I'm doing more damage with less stamina with this thing.
Yeah, Vendor's going down this time. Come on, Mr. Vendrick. It's time for your diaper change. Guess that's a DLC only thing. Interacting with his clothes brings you to something, but I guess that's only if you have the DLC. Which I have, I just didn't install it because I'm saving it for when I do Scholar of the First Sin. Just like with Dark Souls 1, I'm saving it for when I do the remaster. Okay, that was interesting. Guess I'm saving Ancient Dragon for the remaster. I'll save. I think it's time to finish the game. I think we have waited long enough. I should have gone to Majula to level up a couple times. It's fine. I don't need to level up. I'm good. I'll kill them with all these souls in my pocket. Well, that's not the Ray Bonfire. What ring here will help us the most during this fight? Probably ring on blades. It's time. This run back is super long, but at least it's better than the run back to Dark Souls 1's final boss. At least it's not filled with Black Knight bastards. Just a long, ominous path. And two summons you can do right there, but I'm not going to because I want to solo this fight. I usually try to take out the Watcher first. Because I find her attacks to be more annoying.
funnily enough, for being this game's version of Ornstein and Smo, they function the exact opposite Ornstein and Smo do. You want to take them out around the same time instead of targeting just one. Which I think is a little more interesting. Yeah, she buffs up her sword. Alright, she's low. I need to bring your health down a bit. Okay. Oh, I hate these orbs. Because it doesn't just curse you, it also damages you while you're near it. There's a good chunk of my health, Jesus. There's some good chunks of her health too, though.
fine, I'll just eat the curse. Or she can do that. I didn't know she could do that. God, those curse herbs are annoying. She's an incredibly easy boss. I just didn't know she could explode like that. Because usually she's dead so fast she can't even do that. Oh, I got no humanity. Seriously, make me put the ring on again. Alright, fine. The dragon ring is broken anyway. I'm not going out of my way to get it fixed. I'll just find something else to replace it with. Actually, you know what? She's using curse herbs. I'll use the ring of binding. That's the most amount of curse I can have now. Oh, hi. My journey is already complete. The dragon gave me this name. I was born of dragons, by ones who would cause me fate herself. They are the ones who created me, but they fail. I did not come out as intended. Fate would not be bested. And men were cursed once again. If you proceed, Nashanga will come after you. Knowing that you will take the throne and link the fire, she covers the first flame, and the great soul put the Chandra to rest. Alright. Wish I saw her before we went in, so that explanation would have gone through. Let's go, Nashandra, you're going down. You can curse me all you want, it ain't gonna stop me. No matter how undead I am, I will come for you. And I will destroy you. Oh, she actually has a introduction scene right there. Spawn your stupid orbs. Let me destroy them. Not because I'm worried about being cursed, because I can't really be cursed, but because I don't want to take damage over time. Can you inch over here? I'll spawn more of them. Put your foolish ambitions to rest, Nishandra. You will never stop me from taking the throne.
Okay, so she definitely can explode. Thank you, Cat, for using my desk as a launch pad. I stopped moving, you stupid bastard. Oh, that's annoying. something really quick before we go back into that fight. Come on, Nishandra, I'm ready for you. So if you're wondering why I didn't kill the Ancient Dragon or Dark Lurker, Ancient Dragon is because I just really don't want to do it right now. So I'm going to save it till Skull of the First Sin. And uh, Dark Lurker is because I think that that would actually work better to leave that till Skull of the First Sin because it's a secret boss. And I think it's actually a really good fight. But I want to keep something from the vanilla experience for that, so it's not just retreading the exact same territory and then going into the DLC where it's all new. I want to have at least something there that I can work towards in the vanilla experience. And since that has basically three, uh, three separate things that lead up to it, I can do those as we go through it. So it'll be some new stuff throughout the main game. I think that'll make Scholar a little bit more interesting. It's weird that there's no sound to tell you that that dissipated. I've made it so much easier. That's why I've never seen the explosion attack. I usually have a fully leveled up weapon by the time I get here. Let's remember which side has the cliff. Last thing I want is to fall off that BS again. She is disappointingly easy if you have a leveled up weapon. But that's the final boss. Unfortunately, that's the worst part of the game. That the final boss is so disappointingly easy. Sorry. 
And that is unfortunately the disappointing finale for Dark Souls 2. It's, in my opinion, a really, really good game, leading all the way up until the Shrine of Amana. Now, I don't think it's as cancerous as a lot of people make it out to be. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be worse in Scholar of the First Sin. Because I know almost everything in that version is worse than the vanilla game. But. I think this game is great. I think it's a little bit better than the first game. Because it's consistently good all the way until Shrine of Amana. Which is like the last maybe eighth of the game. Maybe even less than that. While Dark Souls 1 I think falls off. A huge steep cliff right after Ornstein and Schmo, which is about the halfway point of the game. So this game is great, at least like 88% of the time. And Dark Souls 1 is only great 50% of the time. And even then, I mean, Blight Town exists. And that's part of the first half, so really it's only great, like, I'm going to be generous and say 35% of the time. Maybe 40%. But they're both great games. I still think it's worth beating both of them at least once. And let's see how the third game goes. I've never played that one before, past the tutorial. I already know Elden Ring, that's coming after 3. Um, I might play Bloodborne slash Demon Souls if I'm able to get my hands on copies of them. I don't own either one of them, and, you know, either one of them is on PC, so I can't just do it that way, unfortunately. So we will see. I'm saving Ancient Dragon and Dark Lurker for when we play Scholar of the First Sin. I'm going to be playing the PC version of that to make it a little bit simpler. Um, so I'm pretty sure the order I'm going to be doing things is I'm going to do Dark Souls 3, and then I'm going to do Elden Ring, and then I'm going to circle back to do Dark Souls Remastered and Dark Souls 2 Scholar. There might be a break between Elden Ring and the Remaster and Scholar stuff. I don't know if I want to do something in between that as a little uh, palate cleanser, but we'll see. All I know is I'm excited for Dark Souls 3. It's the only Dark Souls, Souls from Soft game that I have not played other than Demon Souls. I, I don't count Bloodborne as part of the Soul series. It, it, I think it's different enough that it doesn't count. It's, sim it's it's more Liza P to me. Liza P, I don't consider to be super similar to Dark Souls. A lot of people call Liza P a, a, a Dark Souls clone, but I think it's more of a Bloodborne clone. I also hated the demo of Liza P when I played that. Don't watch those videos. Those videos are not good. I, I don't like how they came out. I'm not particularly happy with my mindset when I was playing that. Who knows, I might revisit that demo and see if I changed my mind. It all depends. All I know for right now is that this was a great game. Uh, so far, if I had to rank the series, I'd put Dark Souls 1 and then I'd put Dark Souls 2 above it. 
We'll see if that changes with the remastered version, and we'll see if how, how the list gets adjusted by the future games. So, with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.